Hi everyone, this is Anna and welcome to the yet another episode of Daily Juice. How are you guys? I am in an exciting place today. Actually, I wanted to show you. Oh, I lost my card. Um, I got a new office. It's in San Jose and I am using one of those um, shared office spaces called WeWork and it's such a cool facility. So I'm going to show you around real quick and then we'll get to talking about money. So here's a little um, sort of waiting area. So I'm sitting, uh, waiting and working area. Um, so I'm actually sitting and waiting for my clients to show up, but we've got a coffee bar. Ooh, you see that lady? Actually, we've got beer. So I would like you to come over so we can talk about money and drink beer, okay? I'm gonna wait to do that until happy hour, but this is, this is just one of the floors. There's five floors here. And then that door leads to the actual private offices and conferences. So it's pretty cool. Well, so what I want to talk to you about today, let me make sure I can set up my phone so you can see me, is something called financial priorities, right? And because we all have priorities, right? Uh, we've got to figure out what do we want to accomplish, and especially when it has to do with our finances. So I've got a bit of a process that I like to go through trying to sort through everything um, and figure out what should we focus on. So here's what I'm going to share with you. Step number one is simply assess where are you at, right? Take a step back, remove all the complexities and say, okay, this is what I'm trying to accomplish, right? These are the goals I have. And then allow yourself time to dream. Remember when you were a kid, anything was possible. So what changed for you now? Because you're an adult. So that's the first step. Just dream. Number two, make a list. Write everything down, okay? And I believe that if, if you have something you wanna accomplish and you don't write it down, it's just a wish. It never becomes a goal that can be actually manifest into something, okay? So make a list. Let me give you an example. Let's say you wanna buy a house, right? In two years or three years. And that house in the Bay Area where I live, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, is at least a million dollars, okay? For simplicity um, of numbers, let's say we need a down payment of 20%. Uh, 20 That's $200,000. So that becomes your goal. You know precisely what you want to accomplish, which is in three years. You know precisely how much money you need. Now, the only question left is to figure out how you're going to do it, okay? And we can talk more about this, how and where and what, but at least the initial steps are set. You know your goal, you assign a deadline to it, and you know the dollar value. So my challenge for you today, in the next couple of days, is to think about what are you trying to accomplish? Because everything that you want in life will require money, one way or the other. So you might as well just make, make a list of things and start focusing on the ones that are most important to you. And you'll see, it's gonna change completely how everything works out for you. So here's my two minute uh, money talk for the day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.